You're scared to take the unit, guys. People don't know what you've been doing before I did it. And every week on the Extra Factor, yeah. Caroline Flack teases Ollie Murs with a video of him falling down the stairs. <laughs> yes, um, have you had any embarrassing stage moments on tour? Stage moments. Yeah, have you fallen yes, over? Yes, yeah. I've had a horrific stage moment. Basically, on the Extra Factor tour, we did AT and we flew across the arena on a harness, <laughs> okay? And, um, yeah, we're doing AT, we've got like halfway and then we'll start doing this. I started doing that and like, I kind of just gradually tipped upside down. I thought it was going to fall out my harness all in front of everyone. It's on YouTube and everything. Oh, really? Everyone else is good. Kiss me and I'm like, <laughs> trying to get up and then I like swing myself back up. Oh, and that's then I so came funny. off stage and the crowd crowd was like, I see you trying to impress everyone there with some assault. Well, it didn't work. Don't be clever. And I was like, I didn't try to some assault. I just went upside down. No, I think you were showing off actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to get a bit nifty so with you, mate. Like, oh god! And then I came home. My mum was like, "Look what I've seen on YouTube!" I was like, oh, brilliant! Thanks, mum. Would you rather? Um, this is like a hypothetical, embarrassing stage okay. moment. Would you rather go on stage with your skirts tucked in your knickers, or vomit on stage like what Justin Bieber did? I think. Now this is tough. It is. See, having your skirt tucked in your knickers is quite bad, but I think people would. I think they're more likely to laugh at you if you if it's too, anyways, if you vomit. Like that's more rock and roll, you get the sympathy vote. Yeah. People think you're real, probably Oh, but then you might have the whole pregnancy rumor thing. This is true. Um yeah, this is quite tough actually. But then if you're scared to take your knickers, people don't know what you've been doing before and did this. That's even worse, isn't it? Yeah, it also depends what knickers you're wearing as well. Exactly. What if you've got your Bridget Jones knickers on, tucked in, you've had yeah. it really, so I'm going to go for the vomit, actually. Okay. And then get, you know, a lot of sympathy, people would talk about it. Yeah. People would probably become more, more of your fan because yeah. you've, you've been so hardcore and stayed on stage after vomiting. <laughs> yeah. So that's my answer. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for that. And <laughs> <laughs> who's the moodiest in Little Mix in the morning? In the morning. Yeah. Yeah, Perry's not a good morning person. Is she not? No. <laughs> I'd say it goes Perry, then me, then Jessie, then Leanne. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a northern thing, really. Like, you northern has like a lion, I think. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm from the south and I'm terrible. Probably before 11 a.m., actually. Wow. So, yeah. 11? Yeah, seriously. Just that's don't nearly lunchtime. Jake, so sue me. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rubbish person. <laughs> Show me your moody early morning face. Okay. <laughs> that was thoughtful as it's well. It's just a frown, like, <laughs> it's just there for about three hours and then it goes, it goes. <laughs> and then I'm back. <laughs> then I'm back in the room. <laughs> Would you rather be in neighbours or home and away? Oh. This is a tough one. I think I'm going to have to go with my favourite jingle here. Okay. And that would be... Only the old tune though. Um, neighbors, they're there for one another. Yeah. Neighbors, we call good friends. And little mix of good friends. Oh, okay. So that's why I've put okay, cool. I, fit home, I, I prefer home and home away. Home and away to me, it doesn't make sense because if you're home, how are you away? I just don't know. Whereas if you're neighbours, you're neighbours, but putting a juxtaposing, a juxtaposition of a title doesn't appeal to me. No. Home and away. You're home, either home or you're away. Yeah.